the Thoughty or Tea podcast. I made a video about monotropism. Um, yes, which is, I that, was, that was one of your first ones, wasn't it? So. Yeah, like, I thought I wanted something that was like autism that wasn't, that kind of explained how I felt, or at least some of my struggles, or at least something mm. that explained what, I'm sort of good at, you know, this kind of tunnel vision that we often have, you know, generally a lot of autistic people relate quite strongly to lots of autism. It's a fantastic study, by the way, if you want to read it, it's only a few pages long with three autistic authors. Um, fantastic, fantastic piece of writing. Yeah. For, and, for anybody who uh, doesn't know about much about monotropism, it's basically at, at its, at its basic level, it is like the style of focus that people have. So like, um, I think I think you're right. There was maybe two or three sort of autistic researchers, like actually autistic people, um, who mm -hmm. sort of came up with the idea. And there's like monotropism, and then there's polytropism. Monotropism is more characterized as like an autistic thing, whereby like you find one thing to sort of pull you in quite a bit. You know, you hear phrases like autistic inertia. What was the the other one that we used in terms of uh, hyper focusing? Of course, that's another mm -hmm. one that that gets thrown about quite a bit. And it's it's quite an interesting theory because I think one of the I think one of one of the the shining positives of of that kind of study and that kind of work is that it very much sort of takes away sort of the the pathology of it so like within the sort of medical school system um you know autism is kind of seen as this like through this very deficit type lens and it's kind of our behaviors around sort of being focused and struggling to transition are sort of highlighted as being like challenging behaviors or something that we need to fix Whereas this kind of concept of monotropism sort of brought in that this is kind of like a inherent like autistic trait, which um, I think kind of put, brings a bit more sort of power into the into to the hands of the autistic people. I think it looks at it not sort of like from an othering perspective, but from a, a, a just saying it how it is. You know, it's a different neurotype. It's a different way of of being. It's neither good nor bad it has good and bad aspects to it of course but it just it just is um totally. 